A great student is what the teacher hopes to be. That's the message from The Clone Wars, Season 3, Episode 22, titled Wookiee Hunt. Ahsoka is taken captive by Trandoshans who want to hunt her for sport. Without her master, she uses the lesson she was taught by Anakin to save herself and others. Meanwhile, Anakin has to learn to trust that Ahsoka is capable enough to survive on her own. The entire point of any Jedi Knight or Master taking on a Padawan learner is because it will help both individuals grow. Teaching someone is a great way to help them, but it's also a great way to grow and learn about yourself as well. And even though they're not Jedi, we are seeing exactly that play out in the Bad Batch. Clone Force 99 takes Omega under their wing. Throughout Season 1, each member of the team teaches her about the galaxy, but it didn't dawn on me until the first two episodes of Season 2 how teaching Omega has also helped them all grow. Maybe it was the time jump that made their changes more pronounced, or maybe it was just discussing the episode in our live after show with Father Son Galaxy. Mom Molly pointed out that it would benefit Clone Force 99 to be a little more well-rounded. Hunter struggled to activate Dooku's elevator, saying tech usually handles that kind of thing. That's a good point, but as we talked about all that more, we realized each member is growing. Let's look at Wrecker and Tech first. They are the two most caricature-like characters. Wrecker isn't known for his problem-solving, he's just big and strong and likes explosives. But when he and Hunter are separated from the rest of the team, he is the one to save the day. With a massive explosive weapon, sure, but he is the one to tell Hunter how to attach a battery pack to the cannon so it can become mobile. That's a smart move. Meanwhile, Tech has grown beyond his smarty pants know-it-all personality. Not completely, but a bit. He starts episode one by teaching Omega about Imperial ships, and at the end of the episode, she solves the problem, and he admits he is impressed. In episode two, he meets Romar, who changes the way Tech sees the galaxy. He doesn't push back against the new information, he accepts it and adjusts. Keith pointed that out in our after show, saying it showed flexibility that some people who think they know everything often don't have. And we got to see Tech prove that he's not just the smart one, he can be an absolute badass if the situation calls for it. He took on several clones by himself to save Echo and Omega, all while he had a broken femur. Hunter has always been the most well-rounded of his brothers, but we're seeing growth for him as well. In Season 1, he was overly protective of Omega. She was usually left on the ship while the rest of the batch went on missions. I loved that little moment in the Season 2 premiere where he waits for Omega to join them on on Sereno, as if that's the default now. I also liked his concern at her hanging off the ship in the opening sequence, but the smile he gives her when she says she had fun. I think he is becoming less of a helicopter parent. I'll admit I don't have a solid example for Echo's growth, but then again, he wasn't an original member of the Batch. He was always more well-rounded. But the first two episodes do give him an arc. He wants to take Dooku's war chest to fight the Empire, and his gung-ho attitude about it drives Omega to be even more insistent on completing their mission, because she feels guilty for how she has affected the team's life. Echo and Omega have to let go of the treasure because it's not worth gaining the war chest at the expense of any of their lives. That's growth as well. But that's all I've got for today. We kept talking about the subtle ways that each member of the team had changed in between the first and second seasons of the series, and I love how their experiences parallel that master and Padawan relationship of the Jedi. But really, it's any parent and child or teacher and student relationship. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all our Bad Batch coverage, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page for video reactions and audio commentaries for every episode as well. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.